All right, so now we need to implement our tool. So I'm just gonna refresh and start from the beginning. All right, now we have our app. Let's say I will use a QR code as our nook, and I will use this clipboard. If you have an image, feel free to do so. And if you don't know from where you can get this uh, image, you can go to the flat icon.com slash search and search for whatever you want. So for example, this one, I search it for decoder to use certain images if you want, but be aware of the license that it's visible. So uh, if you want to subscribe, feel free to do so. But if you downloaded uh, an icon, you would probably need to, uh, to like, um, reference to the creator of this icon and these have some kind of license feel free to read it so anyway uh, i'm not going to use flat icon this time i'm just going to use icon kitchen with the clip art provided for material design all right so i'm just going to use this qr code and for the color i will keep it white i want it to be white and i will cast shadow and for the padding, uh, I'm gonna play around with with the padding. I kind of feel 15% is amazing. And if you want to customize the padding, like from the top or bottom, uh, top, top right, bottom left, you can free, feel free to do so, but I will not customize. And now for the background, I will use the uh, uh, color from primary color that you're using. So I'm just gonna take this color. And they change the hex code here. Uh, one second. Uh, this one should be removed. Yes. So now we have our co uh, see a primary color. And let's say we want, if we want to add, I actually don't want to add any effect background. background. So, and I will choose squeeze circle. So it looks like this. And if you choose square, then it will be look like this. Anyway, that's uh, how I am happy with my icon. And if we just tried it, actually this one is better. So, so I'm gonna use this one. But anyway, that's what we need. Now, if we let's go and download our our icon, show in folder, fresh, and now we need to extract files. Alright, so now we extracted files. We're gonna talk with Android. You can, you, if you have iOS and web, you can add your own. Alright, so what I really like to do, so I don't confuse anything, uh, I would like to remove the background and foreground of previously added default values. So for for this one, I'm just gonna delete it, and it is, it has two usage. It is like some two components that uses. Uh, this background I will just delete it anyway and this foreground I will delete it as well I don't want any uh, use of foreground and for this map map I will take uh, I will remove all those uh, page because I don't need them uh, I will place them later I will delete it and I will just delete this one Alright, so now I have deleted all icons and I will probably have errors in like in manifest and so on because you, it doesn't find army map. Alright, now go to your resource, click open in explorer, open the explorer. Now go to the download file which you have, this one. Now I'm going to take this and copy it and if you went to resource you'll find that we have our map map here. Which has uh, the, did I remove this from uh, Android resource? Yes, we have done. Right, so now going to uh, so going to the, uh, this one from Icon Kitchen. So those are resources which we are going to use in our Icon Kitchen. Right, open the directory which you have opened in this main. Now, all we need to do is just paste it here at source slash main at this location. Paste it here and voila, now you have add your app icon. If you went back, you will find that map map has this arrow. If you open it, now we have IC launcher, which is our image for the highest, is this one. And for the XML version, which is scalable, vector durable. And we have this monochrome for this legacy code. And we have also the background. 
So the background is this one, and the foreground, uh, which is this one, yes. The foreground is this one, and background is this one, and this is one for legacy code. And this one is also for monochrome. Uh, I'm not sure, but I think it's also for legacy code. Uh, for uh, not legacy, I mean by pre, per, per, uh, before Android or UI, before Android 26. Uh, we're using, I think, monochrome and, and this kind of stuff, where we don't have a foreground and background. Alright, so that's basically how can we add an app icon using uh, Icon Kitchen, which is provided by Roman Yurik, the UX uh, manager on Firebase and Google. Thanks a lot for Roman. Uh, I wish him the best and I hope you guys enjoyed how can we make an app icon using Icon Kitchen uh, for Android. Thank you a lot. See you next time.